Oh, good morning from Shiogama. Uh, the, my last entry, I was on the train to Matsushima and I did arrive at Matsushima around 7-ish, 7, anyway. Got my bike together. Um, my hotel or guest house is very close to the station. Dropped off some baggage there and then I came to Shiogama which is right next door to Matsushima. Uh, Shiogama means Shio is salt. Gama or Kama is like pot or cauldron. So Shiogama is a salt cauldron. This uh, apparently had a very or does have or did have I'm not sure a long history of making salt where they boil down the water to make salt. Uh, I was quite surprised when I got here. I uh, came to Shiogama Shrine because it's been called a power spot. Kind of this, uh, what would I even call it? People come, it's a sacred area that has natural energy. I, I don't know, I was just curious why people came here. But I was kind of surprised at how big the shrine is. This is quite a large shrine complex. I thought it was just going to be some kind of smallish shrine in the mountains, but uh, there's a place over there, and then there's up there, and uh, there's quite a few people manning the uh, souvenir areas. Uh, there was a ceremony going on this morning. Somebody was getting something blessed. So uh, anyway, uh, I just read the signboard over there and it says this is considered the sacred shrine of um, Mutsu province. Mutsu is the old name of this area. Uh, this is where uh, Date Masumune, his, well, he's Sendai, but uh, he kind of ruled this area, Mutsu province. And if you don't know uh, Date Masumune, just think of the samurai helmet with the crescent moon on it. That's him. Uh, and when I go to Sendai tomorrow, he's going to be everywhere. Because I guess he was some kind of badass. But uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, I got my notebook filled out at the, sh the shrine up there. And um, I, I don't know if I did something, but the uh, priest seemed upset with me. Uh, it was not the priest that initially took my book. I came in and he, anyway, he was an angry priest. I, I don't know, maybe he's always like that. Uh, first time that I've had that experience. Okay, talk to you guys later.